हेलो हेलो चैम्पियंस हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग आई होप दैट यू आर डूइंग वंडरफुल सो यस वी हैव कम अप विद द सिलेबस ओवरव्यू फॉर बायोलॉजी एंड आई नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स बी लाइक मैम व्हाई बायोलॉजी मैम बट यस देयर आर आल्सो सर्टेन हैंडफुल ऑफ बायोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स हु आर मोर इंक्लाइंड टू मेडिकल फील्ड और मेडिसिनल कोर्सेज सो इट्स फॉर देम majorly but yes if you also are interested in biology somehow you can definitely give a watch so yes let's talk about the syllabus before that it's time for getting familiarized with the chapters so suppose a 10th standard student is watching this he or she should be knowing that what all chapters they would be doing in 11th and 12th now if you are in 11th you should be knowing what's there in 12th and if you are in 11th you should also be knowing what's there in 11th as well so it's for everyone regardless of whatever standard you are in right now and it will be really useful so let's begin so first thing i'll talk about the chapters that are there in 11th oh in 12th standard okay in karnataka you call it pu2 in other states also somewhere you say pu2 so do not be confused class 12th pu2 is the same thing okay now over here what all chapters do we have we start with sexual reproduction in flowering plants it goes up to human reproduction microbes in human welfare lot of chapters that you see over here are very much important so the principles of inheritance and variation that you see over here this is something really new that how you are going to study molecular basis of inheritance again something really new that you might be studying in your 12th grade so all all of the other things you might have somewhere studied it okay in your 10th in your 9th in your 8th somehow you might at least have an idea of it even for this also you might have got an idea but still i'm telling you this might be something really interesting for you in your 12th grade okay so i'll just erase these things and we'll move on to the next thing okay so these chapters are also there starting from biotechnology and ending up to biodiversity so again this is also something new for you biotech so there is a separate course uh, when i used to study uh, we had a separate course that is biotech in which we had a different book so it was again something really interesting because you are messing up with the genetics of an organism and uh, that's how different medicines and uh, what say transgenic animals are being made where animals are made to produce what is needed so i'm not talking about the illegal activities okay it's all good it's all good okay so all of these things you will be studying in your 12th grade if you count the number of chapters it comes out to be 13 so in your 12th grade you have 13 chapters all together so these are the chapters if you want to take a screenshot you can if it's if you do not want it's totally fine okay now we go ahead i want to talk about something very important that is deleted chapters now why is this slide very important children because uh, at times no you borrow books from the previous year people who just passed out right so they do not have the rationalized content rationalized content as in the ncert the team they uh, they cut down all the things that is not needed anymore and they give you a new book that is a rationalized content book okay so over here if you're just borrowing from others it's a very good thing right so but at that point of time you might know what not what is deleted and what is not deleted so for them there's no problem if you have borrowed a book it's a really good thing you get additional notes and stuff like that everything is there but you have to take care that children you do not study these chapters reproduction in organisms is not there strategies for enhancement in food production is not there environmental issues is also not there now in some chapters they have not deleted the entire chapter instead they have deleted certain topics i'll show you that as well so over here we have organisms and population in this these many topics are being deleted they have also mentioned that this particular topic is 13.1 organism and its environment same goes for ecosystem so it's all deleted so you don't need to invest your time studying them okay you have carbon cycle you have phosphorus cycle this cycle that cycle please zone in waste your time studying it now if you are not finding it very easy to take a screenshot of this then i'll do one thing i'll uh, put the same link for the pdf that has all the content deleted content in the comment box so that you guys can easily refer to whenever you want okay so this is for 12th 
organism population is not deleted but certain topics in there is deleted now nutrient cycling and something was something very useful but now it's deleted probably because you have studied it all earlier and that's why right so now let's go ahead let's talk about 11 syllabus so 11 syllabus it starts from the living world we have cell the unit of life does it end here no it goes up to biomolecules breathing and exchanging gases and there's one more thing i'll come to that but before that i want to say something about animal kingdom and plant kingdom so this might be the most detailed version of animal and the plant kingdom that you might be studying so at this point i got an idea what stream i had to choose next next that is probably zoology or botany if you are inclined into biology there are different streams in it right so animal kingdom was a chapter that inspired me so much it had too much to learn so if you just read the ncrt it might find it might uh, be boring for you but if you see bbc earth and a lot of other things that shows you natural wildlife and things like that you will be so much interested in this particular chapter so i'll suggest see certain videos also while studying this okay so this is the syllabus guys and uh, you have known certain facts about all these chapters previously because in life processes you read in 10th standard there are different processes given nutrition absorption the, sorry nutrition excretion and a lot of things reproduction lot of things right so you might get an idea of all these things here as well except reproduction reproduction will be more there in your 12th grade okay so and i want to say something over here digestion and absorption is written this chapter is deleted this chapter won't be there okay now we go ahead i told you there is one more set of chapters those are this so body fluids and circulation going up to chemical coordination and integration these chapters will also be there so all together if you total it if you exclude digestion absorption it comes out to be 19 okay in 11th grade so these are the chapters and i'm pretty sure they will entice you very much yes now we let's go ahead let's see what's all deleted so if we talk about totally deleted chapters transport and plants is deleted please if you are in 11th please don't study this mineral nutrition mm -hmm. digestion absorption no guys I'm, i do, i don't mean do not study that does not mean you don't have to study study that means please do not prepare for exam you can study if you are wanting to study it it's not a problem okay so this is the content that we have now we go ahead i told you in every chapter there might be deleted stuffs so over here in 11 lot of things are being deleted so you can get relief even though 19 chapters are there half of the chapter is being deleted so in living world what is living is deleted taxonomical eights is deleted uh, question number this is deleted in the summary para 2 is deleted so there are a lot of things okay similarly in plant kingdom these many things are deleted what's the point of putting these snips over here so that you pay attention that there might be a lot of things that are deleted and you're still learning it so that won't be useful for you which is why we put this snips not to read it out because that would that would be boring obviously right so better we give you pdf for that so that you can refer to you or refer by yourself whenever you read the chapter just put a tick a uh, cross mark over there that you do need to study it okay so morphology of flowering plants in that the fabaceae family lilaceae family is deleted modification of root stem leaves everything is deleted question number this 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 is deleted now children just imagine if someone is being so specific about this being deleted you never know what type of questions could come they are very specific that this is deleted so that means there are so many questions that could come arise from different portions of your chapter so be careful there yeah now apart from that in anatomy of flowering plants again tissues meristem a lot of basic things are being deleted mestematic tissue simple tissue para 2 and 3 is deleted so you have to take care of all these small details okay whenever you study these chapters so structural organization in animals they also has the same thing uh biomolecules also have the same thing and what do we have plant growth and development it also has the same thing now okay just a second neural control and coordination also have a set of things that is being deleted which is actually very huge now what can you do as of now if you are very lazy to first of all you should not be lazy to refer to the pdf but if still you are being very lazy you can write down at least the name of the chapter so when the chapter turn come you can just what say randomly put okay just understand oh this is a chapter that we not need to study fully there is something so this neural control and coordination i'll go back 
for you guys just a second okay ah, okay plant growth and development biomolecules what do we have structural organization animals anatomy of flowering plants and plant kingdom the living world morphology of flowering plants so these are the chapters okay now let's go ahead what do we have next let's see that do you know the chapter wise weightage for each chapters now whenever you are going to study you should be having a clear cut idea what is deleted you should not study but what is very important that you should definitely study right and now chapters which has high weightage for case it or neat you should be definitely putting your focus into that and even for boards if you are a board aspirant if you are going to study in 12th if you are in 12th right now uh, that's what i meant yeah so you are going to appear for boards you should know what chapter has more priority so this is according to case it but i think it will give you a overview of lot of things so if you are seeing uh, this is the name of the chapter these are the years being mentioned around there okay so we see sexual reproduction in flowering plants it was 3 in the year 2020 it went up to 7 in the year that is seven number of questions came in the year 2021 and over here it's four then it went to three now it's three okay but they are maintaining the strict they are not going down below three so three questions at least minimum bare minimum you can expect from this particular chapter now if we talk about human reproduction again it's 3 4 3 2 3 in that particular range it's in none of the years there was a there wasn't a question from this particular chapter so this is an analysis that you can make for yourself now principle of inheritance and variation i told you it's very important chapter where you study about genetics okay so over there he, here you can see it's like 4 4 4 4 5 4 so again they are maintaining that streak and they will definitely maintain that streak because that chapter is really important same with molecular basis of inheritance 5 5 5 5 5 and then 4 now but not very less in the next year it could increase as well so these are chapters which are promising the ones that you def if you study you will definitely score some amount of marks and it will be really useful but children when we divide chapters into moderate weightage or high weightage or low weightage you should not be inclined to that because trends they definitely change every now and then you never know what could happen next so microbes and human welfare in the year 2020 it was just two questions but they added two more questions in the year 2021 so can we expect something out of it so i'll suggest one thing this is a snip that you might not get everywhere so if you are a person who is going to prepare for case set you should definitely take a snip of it okay i'll just move aside you can take a snip of it hope <coughs> excuse me yeah now if we come So these are all twelve chapters. Okay, twelve great chapters over here again. Ecosystem and biodiversity and converse, conservation. If you see, almost had a no chap or no questions in the year two thousand twenty one, and now this year it was three questions again. Previous year there were no question from biodiversity and conservation. This year three question. So that's why I'm saying it was ranked in low priority chapters, and all of a sudden it came to be very important. So certain chapters are. might be uh, giving you recurrent questions every year but that does not mean you should be ignoring other chapters for that what you should be doing i'll tell you so you should make a proper plan of what you will be studying every now and then every week every week's plan should be there and if you have not watched that video please go and watch if you are a person who is interested in biology you want to know more please watch that video it will be really really helpful i put a lot of efforts into making that video because i wanted to make it very useful for you guys okay so you can check by your own self so this is for class 12th now we go ahead we have for 11th grade so 11th grade the living world it's like none none then one one then none so again the trends are changing now if you're a case it aspirant you know that the questions come majorly from your 12th grade and then rest of the questions are from your 11th grade okay so your 12th should be really 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 strong then only it will be easy for you to crack case it now if you are someone who is in both obviously 12th is important you have to study it now for others who are a general student who is there in 11th now i'll tell you 11th is considered to be broad it has so many chapters but if you study these chapters really nicely it your life becomes so easy if you are going ahead with biology as a core subject 
I'm telling you this. It has lots of information stored in 11th pack. It's just a package full of knowledge. So you should definitely pay attention to your 11th grade. Yeah. So these are the chapters. We'll go ahead. We'll see other chapters also and their weightage. You can take a snip of it. Okay. So I think that works. There's one more. Okay. Body fluids and this and this. Please take a snip of it. It will be helpful. So yes, now let's go on to this particular page. And you remember the video I was talking about where I have given the strategy plan for biology? Well, that is this. You should be definitely giving a watch because I have given the information regarding what you should be doing just in a week as well. So weekly timetable is there. If you follow it, definitely I'm telling you are gonna score really, really good. And it's not just about scoring, it's about getting great knowledge. You will definitely, definitely get it, okay? So so please don't be worried about anything. We all are there. You know, Ashwarya ma'am. There are so many teachers, so many sir. Everyone is there to help you out for physics, for chem, for math. Everyone is there. So don't be worried. We will help you out. Okay. Now, if you think that this particular video was helpful for you, then definitely do not forget to subscribe. Let's grow together and you will be updated about whatever comes in this particular channel. And I'm guaranteeing you it will be really helpful for you. So, bye-bye. Take care.